All right, guys, so in Tableau, we can create actions either in the worksheet page or in the dashboard page. In order to do that, we're going to go to the main menu over here. We can find the option worksheets. So let's go there. And then we have here the option of actions in order to create new actions. Or we can go to the dashboards. And as well, we have the same option actions here. But since we are now at the worksheet page, it is grayed out. So now we're going to learn how to create actions in the worksheet page. And we're going to start with the go to URL. So let's go back to the worksheet in the main menu. Then let's go and click on the actions with that we're going to get the first window so what we're going to see at the start is an empty table because we didn't create any actions yet but once you start creating actions you will get a list of all actions that you have inside the workbook or inside the sheet so now in order to create a new action we're going to go over here add an action then we're going to go to go to url so let's select that and here we're going to get a new window in order to set up our action in our example we want to jump from tableau to external web page to a wikipedia yeah. So we have to give it first a name, the name of the action. It's going to be go to more details. Then as we learned, we have to specify for Tableau three things. First, we have to define for Tableau the source sheets, the starting point of our action. Then we're going to specify for Tableau what can trigger our action. And then at the end, we have to specify the target. So let's start with the first one. We have to specify which worksheets going to be including this action. So here we have to select first which data source. It's going to be the big data source. And Tableau is going to select immediately the current worksheet. So sales inside source. So that's all for the source sheet. So then we have to specify for Tableau what can trigger our action. And here we have three options, either mouse hover, select, or by menu. Let's leave it as a menu first. Then we have to define for Tableau what is the URL targets. In our example, we have to specify here, for example, the Wikipedia page. And here we have two options, either we're going to create a new tab or we're going to create a new window. So that's all. It's really easy. All what you have to do is to specify the starting point, what can trigger our action, and what can happen once the action is triggered. So let's go and hit OK. Okay, and with that, you can see we have now one action in this table. Let's go and hit OK again and let's test it. So, so far, nothing changed in our visualizations. As you can see, we have the subcategories by the sales. But now once the users clicks on the marks, so for example, let's go on the chairs over here. We will see here a new link. It says go to more details. And this is exactly the action that we have defined. So here the interaction from the users, they have to go to the marks. They have to click on the mark and then go to the menu. So once click on the link, over here tableau gonna jump to a wikipedia page so that's it this is how it works now let's go and try different triggers so i'm just gonna close this let's go back to the worksheets and then go to the actions let's go to our action over here and go edit it and now instead of using menu i would like to have select so let's see the effect of that let's click ok and then again ok now the trigger for the action gonna be by selecting by clicking on the marks so once i click somewhere over here let's go to the storage i'm gonna go and click on the mark we're going to go and jump to Wikipedia. So as you can see here, it's a little bit more sensitive. Once you click on the marks, you're going to jump to the URL. So here we don't have a menu where we have a link. We're going to jump immediately to the link. Let's go and try the hover. It's going to be more extreme. So let's go to the actions again, to our action, and then let's go to the hover. And here you have to be careful as you are mouse hovering because you're going to creating a lot of web pages. So let's go and hit OK. Now, very carefully, once I mouse hover on the paper, Tableau going to go and jump to Wikipedia. I didn't click anything. I just mouse hover. So as you can see now, the action is very sensitive to the user's interactions. By just mouse hovering on the marks, Tableau going to go and execute the action. So with the menu, the users have the chance to think whether they want to execute the action or go to the URL or not. With the select, it's more aggressive where the user is going to select on the mark that so they can jump immediately to something else. With the hover, it's very aggressive. Just by how mouse hovering on the marks, the action can be triggered. So now let's go close this and be very careful where you are mouse hovering because once you hit any marks, Tableau is going to go and open a new web page. So let's go back to our worksheets and then go to the actions. Let's remove it because it really doesn't make sense to have a mouse hover to go to any URLs. The best way is to do that is to go to the menu. All right, so now since we are working with the URLs, we can add a lot of stuff like values, filters, parameters to the URL in order to make something more dynamic. For example, I would like the users, depends on which subcategory they select, they're going to go and find more descriptions about this subcategory. So how we can do that? First, we're going to go to the URL over here and we're going to add wiki 
then we have to add the value of the subcategory in order to do that so let's go to the insert over here then we will get a list of all fields that we have inside our data source so we are searching for the subcategory and we can find it over here so let's go and select on the subcategory so as you can see it's like dynamic inside our url and now i would like to make the name of the link as well more dynamic so let's go and call it read more about and then we have to add the subcategory to make it more dynamic so we have as well here an insert and we're gonna go and search for the subcategory we have it over here so that's it with that we have a dynamic name for the link and as well a dynamic link let's go and hit ok and try that and again ok so let's go for examples to the tables over here click on the mark and you can see here we have the following link it says read more about tables so it reads the value from the subcategory that we are currently selecting so let's click on that and here we're going to jump immediately to the wikipedia page that describes the tables let's go and try something else let's go to the storage over here as you can see the name of the link is very dynamic we have read more about storage and once you click over here you will get more information about the storage so this is really amazing in order to add more context more informations inside of our visualizations and to make it more interactive so that's all now for the go to url action all right so that's all for the first type of actions that go to url URL. And next, we're going to learn how to use actions in order to jump from one sheet to another. 